you. Okay, imagine walking home and there's like that alley right before you get to your crib and then divide that by five and imagine like five people walking towards you and you had to get through them. Five people? No. <laughs> <laughs> imagine five people walking one way, three cows walking the other way, and a motorcycle just honking. <laughs> Everybody is just going, going, going. That one's got smoke. <laughs> In your mind, you might be like, what are they honking for? <laughs> but they're honking because they're moving with purpose. They're moving like they're trying to get somewhere. Since there's so many people, there's so many stories that just walk by you. And that was the coolest part about that experience. And although it was crazy, I embraced it wholeheartedly because it made me feel like I was in India. India has always been like this enticing place. It's always been this place that I've wanted to visit, not just by myself, but with my friends, because I didn't know what to expect in going there. The reason India jumped out at us is because, as a group, we went to Cuba, and what we liked most about Cuba was interacting with the youth and like playing sports in the street, like just making friends with the kids and stuff. So like in our research, when we were looking at other places to go where we could have a similar experience, India was one of the uh, first places that popped up. For this project, it's a little different because as discreet as you want to be, you're with two other people and they both got big cameras and you being a foreigner to this place and not being there for long enough, it's hard to just blend in with the crowd. You just gotta face the facts, like people are gonna look at you and street photography comes off kinda phony if you don't embody yourself and live like the lifestyle that you're trying to shoot and at least understand it. So you approach it as a friend first, approach it as someone interested, cause I was, in playing with them, getting to know them, learning how to play the game of cricket. And then from there, once they feel comfortable to be themselves, take a step back and capture the moment when I see it and not just go with the intent of capitalizing on their culture without genuinely understanding it. I love kids. I love the kids in my life. They're very important to me because what kids bring to the table is that element of remaining optimistic. Even back when we were in Toronto, we both have their younger siblings or nieces or nephews that we're really interactive with. And a big thing over there is like kids are everywhere, so we have just that natural ability to connect with the youth. They remind me to stay young, they remind me to stay youthful, they remind me to have fun, and, and I hope that people see that in the photos. The three places we hit were New Delhi, followed by Agra, and then we finished off in Varanasi. And just in terms of the three places, they all brought something unique to the table. We didn't know what to expect from Agra, aside from the Taj Mahal. Turns out we met one of the best people we could probably say we've ever met in our lives. Sir, I am Pradeep. This is Agra. Having all three of us shooting at the same time could definitely be challenging, but with this specific group of people, everyone's respectful of the space in terms of getting a shot. Everybody's aware of the space. At the same time, if I go and I see Du over there talking to a group of kids, uh, like I never feel like I'm barging in if I go there and start talking to the same kids. We all have different personalities. I would say let's play, let's play the sport. Charlie would be making them laugh, do would start the dancing, showing them music they never heard before, you know? So having that group dynamic, when there was a real sense of what being in India felt like, if one person was high on the energy side, they would notice that moment then. They would pick up the people who may have been more reserved in that scenario. And that was the approach we always took with it, and I think it's just rewarding. I just feel grateful. Every moment I get to spend in a place I wasn't supposed to be able to be. In that downtime, it's a good time to like review your photos, kind of jog your memory of what happened, appreciate what you just saw, but also 
look at what you got and try to see how you can improve for the next day and just relax as much as you can relax on a train. And then we go to Varanasi, it being a super holy place, a very sacred place, larger than life place where they view life and death as the same thing. And that being very educational in terms of just coming home with a new perspective on your approach to life and what you wake up for every day. If I had to pick one moment where I just really appreciated everything, it would be when we saw a bunch of kids like diving, kids, middle-aged teenagers. Like, well, that was like fun. Let's go try and take some photos of that. And over there, the light was crazy. It was awesome. It was the beginning of the morning. Super, super quiet versus what we're used to, but also very playful and loud where they were. And imagine, it's like all these kids up at 6 a.m. ready to swim. And then I remember like, I'm looking at Jamal and Du. They have that look like they're, they're really trying to go in. And me, I was like, bruh, if these guys go in, I'm gonna have to go in. It would be wrong for me to just come here, take photos and act as if I was here, if I wasn't actually there. So I felt like I needed to jump in. I felt like I needed to say I did it. Everyone did it, we all did it, and we all had fun. And I'm pretty sure my experience was just as rewarding as Du's experience, Charlie's experience. The advice I'd give to someone who's trying to travel and do photography is when you learn about the culture that you're taking photos of, it makes your photos so much better and more genuine. Go somewhere you're interested in. Don't go somewhere based off of how many photos your favorite photographer posted from there and think that you can go there and do the exact same thing. No, that's not how it works because when you go there, it's a different time, it's a different day, it's a different setting. Three. That looks good? <laughs> Send it to your Facebook? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Facebook, alright? Okay. Facebook.